Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the GEC is secured aboard my vertebrae. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. Very well. We'll just verify that now. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. Your code is 704. Repeat. 704. Confirm and enter. Copy. 704. Stand by, sir. Entering code now. Negative, sir. The code's no good. I just lost another man. Why do you insist on making things difficult? Maybe I should start shooting. How much blood you think you can afford to lose before you tell me what I want to know? Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized individual here who says he's supposed to speak with you. I'm surprised to hear from you, Lieutenant. I don't recall authorizing you to contact me directly. Yes, sir. I I'm sorry about that. I, I just, uh, it just seemed out of the ordinary. I apologize. Apology noted, Lieutenant. Yes. I instructed our friend to come up to the control room. No questions, no interference. Am I understood? I understand, sir. Again, I apologize for the interruption. Allow our friend to pass and report to your superior for reassignment, Lieutenant. 
at once. Yes, sir. Hello. I guess you'd better be on your way. Sorry for the, uh... Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. Keep it I've up. invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. You're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. Hello. Attention! This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the president's previous directive. Hey. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat. Shot on sight. This is an order. You? What are you doing here? They... they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't want to help them at first, but... the technology they have here, it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. They wanted information. About Dr. Lee, about Project Purity. They want to know how to start it up, and why it wouldn't work. I told them everything I could. About the Gek, about the damage caused by the explosions, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Kill me over it? You should go. It sounds like you're in enough trouble as it is. And honestly, I don't want anyone to see me talking to you. to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. You're too kind. The pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, May come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. The purifier your father helped create has the ability 
to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? I understand. It's an unusual request, one I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. And why would I do that, when I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the Wasteland? What alternative would you suggest? Without the Enclave, what will the world do? Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. You have the vial and the task set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? Yes, yes, but best you go now before anything happens to you. in your rescue to repay my debt to you. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Uh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go?
The longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? You think I am unaware? We've watched the build-up around the facility for the last week. Has something new happened? Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. I see. And where is this virus now? Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild, enough. Can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, You've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Okay, it's your call. I'm just trying to protect you. If you think you can handle this, we need to get moving. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! I'm sure you'll understand that there's far too much to be done right now. I have no time for sure. You're reporting to Sarah from here on out. Don't let her down. Of course.
It's good to see you again. I hope that we can return to the Purifier soon and finish your father's work. In the meantime, it seems that my talents are of use to the Brotherhood. I still don't completely trust them, but I'm willing to look past that. I should think it's rather obvious they want the technology for themselves. You grew up in a vault, never wanting for clean, fresh water. Out here in the real world, it's hard to come by, and that makes it valuable. I'm assisting Rothschild with some of his research. I've worked with portable generators more extensively than he has. I don't really care for the idea that this is supporting some gigantic military robot. But given the state of things, I recognize the need for it. Take care of yourself.
I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you just let him walk away. It's amazing the world hasn't beaten that out of you. You just better hope it doesn't come back to bite you. Now let's get this place locked down. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? 
You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. I suppose this is... Goodbye, friend. Farewell, friend. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay. Go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, 
the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes.